Hey everybody, this is Dark Guardsman. There's something I wanted to show off earlier but kind of forgot about it, mainly because I g decided to get some sleep after I discovered this. And it just left my mind and I continue to use this really cool feature that is part of IntelliJ uh, without really thinking that, hey, it would be kind of nice for me to share it. I did share it over Twitter, so there was two posts that were two separate features. The first thing is when you're working with code, especially these really long class files. So this is a over a thousand line class file for doing the pipe belt. I know I can definitely get this code down to a more manageable size by using like helper methods and moving things into components and using a composition pattern and everything else to kind of do that. But that's not the point of this. It, it, sometimes you get really large class files, specifically when you're doing things like rendering, because there's no real way to get this down because you already do things like use methods to render specific parts of things and even when you do that and you do code reusability you still end up with a class file that's 1500 lines long when you run into situations like this there are a few call keys that are kind of helpful to work with it one uh, let me go ahead and expand this out so you can expand all your code by doing Control shift plus to expand your code you can then collapse it all back down with Control shift minus and this helps kind of navigate things say you're looking for a specific method or you just want to browse over a class file real quick to see what's contained inside of it which is really useful because the, most people will tell you, oh yeah, just use uh, Control F and look for whatever you want to find, or use Control N to find the class file you're looking for, or find whatever you're looking for. These are useful if you know what you're looking for. Sometimes you just want to go, okay, I need to support a block, or I need to support an item, or I need to support something, but I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some possibilities. This is useful, say, if you're going through and you're looking through, say, like the block class, for example. If we can even get to the block class here. So we look, for, this is another example for the block class file. This is actually something I, I have to extend the block class to create um, my JSON driven system. And in this case, we can collapse this down. We can go start to look for methods. We can find, okay, there's, there's hooks for hardness and everything else. So we can scan down through this. So that's really cool, and that does help uh, with things. Another thing that I found, and I've been looking for this for a very long time, when I first um, got taught professionally how to code, so it was uh, back in junior high, I got took a class was the only time that in basically between elementary and high school that I ever got taught how to code in a formal way was a Visual Basic class. And Visual Basic had a feature in it that allowed you to collapse sections of code. And what I mean by collapse is actually the technical term is folding is what it's called. So think of it like folding a piece of paper. So you can fold down a section of code and Visual Basic had this feature. I don't even know if the new version does because to be honest, I, I last time I coded in Basic was uh, high school. Uh, when I was programming a small robot to do things like scan rooms and stuff. Um, and back in junior high, that software had this feature to collapse it down. I found out IntelliJ has the same exact feature, and that's what these actually are right here. So these are little comments that I'm assuming IntelliJ picks up on, and I'm there's probably a ton of them. Because I found the article that was from 2012, and I really am kicking myself that I didn't never found this article before and never read it because there are times that my code is so hard to navigate because there's just so much of it that I've resorted to certain ways to do it. And the number one way I actually end up actually resorting to is I'll do something like this. I picked this up from actually programming in C++ uh, when I do uh, Notepad. Uh, programming. Uh, so for any language that usually is not Java, I actually do not use an integrated development environment. I very often will use Notepad because I get so used to certain integrated development environments, I don't like to use other environments. I have a really high dislike of the Visual Studio's uh, branch of things. And it has nothing to do really with the quality of it. It just has to do when you hit the enter key, it likes to tab complete rather than go down, which is really annoying. Or actually, it's the opposite. So when you're actually working with IntelliJ, if you say, for example, wanted to make this uh, complete this for something you can do like forge direction and I could thumb down and do that with inner key you can't do that with Visual Studios I'm so incredibly used to that that trying to program in Visual Studios is really painful so needless to say I picked this up for a notepad thing so but going back to it and not getting distracted on the phone tangent so we have these now and what you can do with them is we can collapse entire sections of code down and it's really really useful because one if you go down use a control shift minus you can class this down and look at that it's that huge massive class file that is a thousand lines long i can now easily manage this simply because i can collapse it down i can collapse a whole bunch of similar methods together in a way that is super useful i can go oh here's all my player interaction i open that section up oh there's my wrench code there's my tool code i can close it back down go back to something other i can find all my, my item movement code all the code that's ran from the update method to move the items around inside the pipe belt can find that can look through it work on some method collapse it back down say i want to work on the logic that's purely for the inserter so the inserter inserting stuff on the belt and pulling stuff off the belt i can pop that open work on it and so on and so on and i can do this now 
and this is going to make a massive difference in development and i suggest if you guys are doing using intellij and you're making large class files do the same thing because this will help clean up your code and make it much easier although i highly recommend not just to use this but actually look at using things like composition patterns and um there's a few other ones i actually forget all the pattern names but the idol would be use more methods use different classes recycle your code try to use sub objects to handle your stuff for example i use an inventory for handling my render side stuff and i start using stuff like here's my actual inventory for the pipe separating your stuff out in other objects is really really useful but when you can't actually separate your stuff out in other objects or go use helper methods or usable code or whatever or prefabs this will help you keep your code organized and stuff and hopefully it, it does help you and i'll see you guys later with um probably more tips as i might trip across a couple more of these and make a few more videos